As Roblox Bed Wars is full of hackers, sweat, and toxic people, I'll be teaching guys best strategies on how you can win every single game in Bed Wars. So I have a list of strategies, PvP methods, and bed breaking techniques, and at the end we will analyze the gameplay and you guys will take decisions. We will start by the most important aspect in the game, PvP. I have the list setup of PvP methods on the screen and we'll start off by high ground. Having high ground always gives you advantage in the squad fight against your enemy. You can always get extra hits on your enemy by dropping down and swinging your sword at the same time. And now look at my health in this clip. I was able to hit my enemy multiple times and he dealed me less damage just because I had high ground. Now quickly moving on to the next one we have using bow in the sword fight. Now having a secondary weapon in PvP is always good. Having bow or crossbow can always help you deal more damage to your enemy before engaging into any sword battle. Now if you're going against multiple enemy, bow or a crossbow will be your best friend just because you can deal a lot of damage without even engaging into any sword battle and you can kill them easily. After using bow in the PvP, I was able to kill them easily just because how low they were. Now moving on to the next, we have keeping pressure on the enemy. Now what this means is using snowball to deal a lot of damage or not let your enemy heal when they are running away. You can always enchant your snowball to do a lot of damage. Guys, but one, fuck you. Nice. Now I have my favorite method, tanker juking. Now for this method, you need to find a safe spot to land your block clutch and wait for your enemy to come near you. Bro. Now after spotting your enemy, make sure you go quickly up and start a combo on him just by surprising him or hit him towards the void. Now time for the method which can get you hated by many of the people, playing as a spammer. Now whether it be landmine, spirit, bow, crossbow or vanessa, you can spam your enemy till the point he is low and can one shot him with your sword or you can just kill him by spamming. Now we got another important aspect in the game, bed breaking. I have some of the best technique listed on the screen right now which will help you in any situation starting with 5 blocks up. In this clip I perfectly showed you guys how you can get high ground to break enemies bed easily. In this situation, I was with my teammate trying to eliminate my opponent team and I decided to break the pad. Meanwhile, my teammates keep them away from me so I can get the pad easily. Now we have shears and axe method. Now with this method, you can take out one or two layer bed defense very easily. And this method is used by many of the people in the game and you can use it too to win many of your matches. Now we have TNT bed breaking method where you can place or drop the TNT onto the bed defense and move away from it. After the bed is exposed, you can quickly break the bed and move away. Now we have cheapest way to break someone's bed is by blocking into their bed defense. Now in this clip, I see a poorly made bed defense and I decided to take the advantage of it by blocking into it. This is one of the best method if you are solo rusher in your squad and you can take out many beds including the huge pyramid one. Now we have my favorite bed breaking method is going underneath. Now at some map, beds are more closer to the edge of the map. So you can take advantage of it. You just have to land the block clutch and block yourself in to the point that bed is visible to you and you can take away the bed easily. Now you have learned best pvp and bed breaking techniques but you might still lose your game if you don't execute your well planned strategies. So now we're gonna analyze a gameplay where I was recording and accidentally queued into a game with top clan. And guess what? I won by executing a well planned strategy and here's how it went. Yes, top one clan guys, top one clan. And get 24 guys, get 24. So Look at them rushing. Look at them rushing a bit. Who? What, what team they are on? Blue, right? Now my strategy was simple to get tier 1 generator before them and out gear them and kill them. Get it, get it, get, get the diamonds bro! Get the diamonds! I got him, I guess. I think I got him, yeah. I got him. Yup. Look at him sweating, bro. We have T1, right? After getting T1 generator, my plan was to take out their bed as they have no bed defense. I'm just gonna take a simple axe and gonna rush their bed. But as I was rushing them, they made a one layer bed defense and I need a TNT to take them out. Everybody can push them away. Okay, okay, okay. They made a one layer bed defense. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, put it in the chest, put it in the chest, put it in the chest, drop it in the chest. Now, as we learned before, I'm going to be using TNT bed breaking method, which works awesome in this situation. Uh, oh, oh, look okay. at him looking. Look at him. <laughs> nice, nice night. Nice shot, man. Yeah, get him. Nice lassie, man. Nice, nice lassie, lassie, bro. Oh, you rushing lassie. me? 
Nice lassie, bro. Oh, they are a lassie from the look of it. All of the, all of, all, all what they're doing is this. Nice. <laughs> now, after breaking the bed, it was important to take them out as I can't let them gear up. Meanwhile, my teammate tried to focus on some other team. I know, right? Top one clan, by the way. Oh, he's a oh, Uzi. No, I need a speed pack, guys, guys, guys. I need a speed pack. Yeah. One in middle. I'm getting uh, this guy. One green guy chasing you over. Oh god, I just, I just blocked such that. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that's wrong. So what? <laughs> what? He just wanted his food, man. It's real orbit. Yeah. What about me, guys? Oh, look at him. I the hell. Two green up top. Go, go, go. Go blue. Go blue. Go no blue up there. Green, I'll push you. Oh, nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Green, green. Why are you using that shit? Why are you using that shit? <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Got him! As I said before, my team was focusing on other teams. Meanwhile, I was focusing on those players. They were able to take out the other team successfully, and there was only green remaining. So we decided to rush them. Oh, oh wow. you're still dead with that new sword guy. Oh, nice. Nice, ice knight. Nice shot. He did a combat video! So I will probably be good at it, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh, and they just dipped. <laughs> As I was rushing alone green team, I have to do them a lot of damage so my teammate can take them out easily. You, you, you joined the wrong time when I was recording. Embarrassing. This is embarrassing against um, us clan, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, why are you... Ooh, ooh, that man. That man, that man. Yep, he's off. Nice. <laughs> nice. Now we got one last important aspect in the game, decision making. If you guys skip this part, there's a huge chance of you losing a game, so watch it till the end. Here you will be in a situation where you'll be given two options and you just have to pick the right one. Now as I load into a game, my teammate was unable to load in, he was stuck on the neutral team and he unfortunately disconnected. I go to check onto my neighbor's base and there was no one. Now you guys have to make a decision. Will you rush diagonal to your opponent or will you rush green to get gear up? Now if you pick to rush diagonal, that was the right decision because never lose the opportunity to get rid of your opponent's bed. But as I was rushing my opponent team, the enemies actually got their bed. So after that, I came back to my base to get myself some stuff but there was an opponent rushing my base so I successfully take care of him. Of the map, dude. Now you guys have to make a decision. Your opponent might rush your bed again. So will you stay at base and defend or will you try to get a better gear? Now if you try to get a better gear, give yourself a point because you might get rid of your opponent twice. After getting some iron from my opponent's base, I decided to get some gear and defend my bed a little bit because I know the opponent might rush me again. But when I decided to do it two times in a row where I tried to get iron armor, it was too late to defend my bed and they unfortunately got my bed. But I successfully upgraded my armors. Now you guys have to make a decision. Will you stay at base and fight them or will you leave for mid? Now if you decided to fight them, give yourself a point because never lose your base at the early game because you need a better gear to get mid control. And as you are by yourself and mid, there's a high chance of you dying if you don't have a good gear. Where do you think you're going man? Now as I was in the mid, I encountered an undergeared person. I actually got few hits on him, but instead he started running and collecting all the emeralds. Now you guys have to make a decision. Will you chase him for the loot or will you wait for another round for emeralds? Now if you decided to chase him for the loot, you are correct because never let your opponent try to get gear up. That stuck with me, yeah. Now after I came back from mid, taking all of the emeralds, I bought myself a good gear and some stuff which will help me get some bed but I saw undergeared person using Uzi kid rush me so I decided to kill him. Oh yeah, what was that? Uzi, 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 like really what was that? When I was rushing these guys bed they actually got me pretty weak so I decided to block myself in. Now you guys have to make a decision. Will you stay here until you regen or will you make a run for your life? If you decided to make a run for your life, that was a smart decision because never wait in risky situation as they can mine your blocks and get with you. Just scared. Just scared. Just scared. Like zombies around here, bro. Now as I was making a run for my life, both of them actually chased me and left their bed open. Now you guys are smart to rush their bed, but you guys have to make a decision. Will you use a pearl to get there quickly or will you use your feet to run over there? 
Now, if you decided to use a pearl, give yourself a point because they can reset their character anytime to get towards their bed, and this may result you to get like less time to get their bed. Dude, why you need to fight me? Now, there's only one last person remaining, and you know you're outgearing him. So, you guys need to make a decision. Yeah, pretty sure I can take him on. I can go up. Will you chase him to kill him, or will you let him live? Now, of course, you have to chase your enemy and kill him to win the game. <laughs> now, this video actually took me a long time to record and edit. So, if you don't subscribe, you're a mean person. And if you did, here's your cake.